This year marks Columbia Pike's 200th birthday, and we're dedicating this episode of Food for Thought to some of your favorite places on the Pike. A lot of you wrote in about our first place, Avi's Azteca Grill. It's been serving Columbia Pike since it opened in 1986, and based on your emails, it doesn't get any better than this. We're here with Sandra, co-owner of Avi's Azteca Bar and Grill. Sandra, how did Avi's begin? Avi's began in uh, 1986 when Mama Avi used to sell pupusas at home. She had a lot of customers buying her meal at her house, and then she uh, decided to open a place because her house was too small. And when did you start working here? What's your history with Avi's? 20 years ago. My dad used to work here as a dishwasher, and uh, he brought me here, and he's like, while you go to school, you can work at night to help our family. I started working as a hostess, sitting people, cleaning tables, last girl, and then uh, three months later, I become a waitress. And now you're co-owner? Yes. What's the difference between Salvadorian and Mexican flavors? The difference is like Mexican uses a lot of spices, and herbs like dry peppers. And at Salvador, we use more bases like chicken base, beef base, crab base. And what kind of comments do you get from your customers? Because a lot of a lot of customers uh, wrote into us and said, you know, you got to try Avi's. It's great. Everything is homemade. Like the food is very French. For a first timer like myself here, what would you recommend that I order? You have to try a pupusa. You cannot come to Avi's and not have a pupusa. I've never heard of that. What is it? Pupusa is a real typical Salvadorian dish. It's a tortilla, but it's stuffed with uh, meat, pork and cheese, beans and cheese, or plain cheese. And we're making with the crab meat now. Well, I'm sick of being an outsider, and I want some pupusas. Can we head back and try some? Yes. All right, I'm ready. Yes. We're in the kitchen at Avi's with Sandra, and we're going to learn how to make these famous pupusas. Okay, we're gonna make the pork and cheese one. First, you grab the dough. And what's the dough made out of? This is corn flour. You just kind of make it in the palm of your hand then? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then put the stuff in, it's the pork and cheese. That's a nice amount of pork and cheese. And do people tend to go for the chicken, the pork, the crab meat? If you don't eat meat, you eat cheese or beans and cheese. But if you eat meat, this is really tasty. It looks like a pancake almost. Yes, that's what I told my customer. Is this Salvadorian or Mexican? Salvadorian. Do you do more Salvadorian here than Mexican? Yes, like Mexican basically we have tacos, enchiladas, burritos, and fajitas. So that's Mexican? That's Mexican. And, and the rest is Salvadorian. Even some people coming from El Salvador to visit their parents here, they come here and they're like, oh, the pupusas here are better than El Salvador. Like they say, your yeah, restaurant is like a family restaurant. And your chips, are they homemade too? Homemade, yes. Oh, it feels like a pancake too. So this is the famous pupusa, pork and cheese pupusa, which I'm about to try for the first time in my life. Mmm. Mmm. It's excellent. It's got a unique style to it and taste. And the filling, it's very flavorful. It's not, it's not too heavy, it's nice and light. Yes. I'm gonna stop now because I know there's more to try, but I could eat, I could eat three pupusas and be fine. Excellent, good job. Okay, up next, the burrito. So take it away. What what kind of burrito are you making? This is gonna be the burrito abi, which is beans, rice, and beef, a full spoon of rice. And are those um, refried beans homemade? Re homemade. Generous portions too, I might add, as you can see. And then it's ready to wrap it up. Every time I wrap anything up, like a burrito, it always breaks. What's the secret? To warm up the tortilla, because you warm it up, it's softer. Okay. To fold it, yes. And then it's easier to fold. Yes. Put the salsa on it, homemade tomato sauce, and then we put the cheese on it. Mmm. Oh yeah. That looks very, very scrumptious. Uh, so we serve this uh, with guacamole and sour cream. So it's ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm gonna start in the middle, since that's where it's all at. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Mmm, mmm. I didn't get a good, good enough taste. I have to try that again. Oh, here's the rice. See, it's in layers, so you have to make sure you get every layer. Move over Chipotle. Mmm, that's nice and rich, good flavor to it. Sandra, you're the woman. This is great. This is excellent. This is my new favorite Salvadorian Mexican restaurant. <laughs> This was the first Salvadorian in Mexico restaurant on the pie. So like everybody who have restaurants now, they were our customers before. Next up, fajitas. Now, are you doing beef and chicken? Beef and chicken. Show me how to do it. Okay, I have a chicken breast here. Throw it in the grill. Love that sizzle. The beef here for the fajitas. Oh, look at that. That looks perfect. Yeah. This is really hot. So we said the veggies. Oh, it, it kind of cooks the veggies. Oh, the smell is of the of the onion. Yes, a little bit of cooking wine. Mmm, smells so good. Yeah, let's make this. Let's try a little bit of chicken, a little bit of beef. I love guac. All right, and some onions. That seasoning's great. Mmm, oh, bueno. And the meat's not chewy. This goes down real easy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Sandra, thank you very much for introducing us to Papu Sauce today. And the fajitas, the burrito, muy bueno. Come here just to try the pupusas. That's all you need, really. This is one of Arlington's true gems and one you don't want to pass up. You need to come here. For a menu, directions, and specials, visit avirestaurant.com. You can also find information on our blog at arlingtonva.us backslash avn and click on Food for Thought. We're just starting to celebrate Columbia Pike, so stay with us.